What's up everyone? Welcome back to my fourth video or part four of my 300ZX build. Today, I don't know about you guys, but today kind of feels like Christmas for me because I got two car parts in. I got my boom, rear diffuser and boom, short shifter. Throws on this thing are... Oh, yeah, I can't really go in. But anyways, it's the throws are long. So... A fellow 300ZX owner recommended I get this because it'll definitely improve the drivability of the car. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna probably go ahead and put this on maybe tomorrow. I'll do the rear diffuser today, but yeah, I'm gonna do the short shifter another day because I am tired as hell. Yeah, actually, let's go ahead and see how this thing fits. I'm curious because the last one I bought so I'm curious because the last one I bought was a cheap one it was like 200 this thing was like 400 bucks this is the the twin Z design also look when I open this thing up it's dirty as hell and then it's scratched up, which makes me wonder if this thing was just sitting in a junkyard or something. Because damn. But yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and do a quick placement test. Okay, so this thing is definitely going to fit a lot better. <laughs> Let's go. I am pumped for this. So, it kind of sucks that I'm definitely going to have to jack the car up and take off the tow hooks. I really didn't want to do that. Um, but I also don't really want to cut into this. So, damn it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's gonna look so beautiful. I also have to clean this thing off and try to get rid of the scratch mark. I ran into a problem. I figured out that I can't install this because when I, so, okay, so I tried positioning it and there's not enough space in between the exhausts to get the diffuser to fit on well, so, I'm gonna have to go to a shop again so that they can um, redo this uh, hooks or whatever the hell they're called so that there's more more space between the bumper and the exhaust. And then once I get that done, then I'll finally be able to put on the, the rear diffuser. I must really love my, my car myself. I must really love my my car this much to to be doing these mods to this is a pain in the derriere. Oh, man, so honestly, I don't think it should be much of a problem, but I forgot to put on two. Well, I didn't forget. It's just way too hard. If I can fit this in there. So you see that space, that gap right there, right there. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not, but I think it should be fine, honestly. When I hold it up, check this out. So when I hold this up and then shift it, like it feels fine, you know, like, I don't think the um the washers were gonna do much to it. I mean I don't know it all seems to move well so yeah I'm just gonna say forget it. I'm not gonna put these these things right here. This I don't know how they expect this to like do this so easily like those um the washers they were supposed to go i guess in between this part and then the this clamp 
and it's just it's literally impossible to get to that let me, let me reset this thing again look there's like no space whatsoever to like make sure everything lines up properly so yeah like i said i'm just gonna say forget it should be fine shifts fine feels like it shifts just fine it's fine it's fine it's just just fine just fine you know just just what there we go all right so here we go testing out the short shifter What's up everyone thanks for watching this video i hope it's it was a little entertaining i didn't really get to record the um the procedures for doing those modifications as as well as i would have liked to but yeah nonetheless i got things done it was just every, i was all over the place with school flight school trying to apply for jobs you know, rejected from jobs because of covid so yeah, it's kind of been a pretty hectic time for me but nonetheless Here's another video. I managed to put this out as soon as I could. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. The next one's gonna be for sure a G37S. We installed a, an exhaust on this thing, so I'm gonna show you guys that process, which again, didn't go as planned, but you guys will see. But anyways, yeah, shout out to, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna pronounce his name because I know I'll, I'll probably pronounce it wrong but I'll put his ad somewhere down here for the suggestion for the short shifter I really love that thing I'll do a better review of it next time I have the car with me but but yeah guys drop comments let me know what simple modifications I can do to these cars like I'm always down to to mess around with things anything but the engine like I really don't want it it's, the Z32 is my daily driver so I don't want to screw anything up but yeah drop comments drop suggestions both for the Z32 and for this G37S I'm gonna start posting videos on the mods that we do on this car as well on this channel so stay tuned for that let me know what you guys think i should do to these cars like i said both not not engine mods yet i'm i'll probably down the line i'll buy like a cheap car to like learn like to modify the engine and whatnot but yeah guys stay tuned next video should be up in a week like i said that's gonna be a an exhaust install for this car and then after that in about another week i'll post a five things i love and five things i hate about my z32 so stay tuned for that thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week